Hello everybody, my name is Roberto Linero from Universidad Católica del Norte. I'm going to talk about the Law Physics Initiative as a tool to communicate research in physics. This is a working collaboration with the Law Physics Coordinator, Alejandro Cárdenas Avendaño, Nicolás Fernal, Joel Chogu Pérez, Walter Tangarifa, and Mauro Cambiaso. So to motivate the, the talk, we are going to use some words from Richard Feynman from the first Inter-American Conference on Physics Education in Rio de Janeiro in 1963, in which he was addressing the problem of teaching physics in Latin America to be similar to do anything in Latin America. We know that the social, political, and economic context in Latin American countries is much different from, for instance, countries in Europe or in the United States. Nevertheless, at that time, the problems that were present in principally regarding to teaching physics were that the students are all alone and the small number of people that are involved in physics education. So for the case of researchers, the problems are basically the same. The problem to want to tackle with the law physics are basically to we focus in five different points. One is the small group of scientists, or for instance, physicists, the, the, the group case that we are interested. Also, Latin America is geographically far from world class research center in Europe and in the United States or Japan. Also, the access to funding is much reduced for the case of universities in Latin America. And of course, for the case of PhD postdocs and, and professors in Latin America, we have the problem that teaching and administrative duties make harder to go abroad for doing collaborations. And the most important, the one that also we want to address with the Law Physics Initiative is the, the loss of contact with Latin American collaborators that are outside Latin America doing research. So Law Physics or Latin American Webinar Physics is a web seminar that are, we proposed many years ago as a way to uh, deal with this big problem that we I just uh, mentioned. The goal of law physics is making research accessible no matter the place. The type of speakers are basically researchers from all over the world, regardless of the nationality, because we wanted also to, to allow the communication with Latin America or with the rest of the world in the same way that people go to conferences or go to give seminars in, in different research centers. The format is basically four meeting talks per minute, uh, 40 minutes so talks in Zoom and in duty and live streaming in YouTube. And the topics that we cover are essentially related with high energy physics, as the particle, cosmology, gravitational waves, and other type of topics like, for instance, orientation for early career uh, physicists. So we have been doing these uh, initiatives since 2015. We already have 115 webinars with six colloquia and one large event that was on Dark Matter Day that we organized in 2016. So, what are the advantages for the uh, people in law physics? For instance, for the speaker, they have a reach to a larger audience. Also, the talks are, are recorded and, and also making public, making the, 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 the reach of the, a talk to be much larger than in a typical conference. Also, we address, we provide a certificate and open the, the possibility for, to promote early career scientists. For the audience, is, is very interesting because they can access to broad topics that maybe in a university is not possible to cover just with regular seminars or in a conference. Also, they have access to all the previous webinars and future webinars because of the platform that we are using. The possibility to replay the, the seminar is very important because especially for PhD students following a specific topic, they can watch again the seminar until to have a better understanding of what is the, the topic about. Also very important is to see the faces of the people that are doing research. So another big impo uh, information that we can get from all of these years doing law physics is the, the metrics of the, of the platform. For instance, in our case, we have 1,400 subscribers. And in the last three, uh, year, we have around 22,000 views from all the videos that we, the 115 webinars that I, I just said. But the most important information that, when, that we can obtained from the metrics is regarded to the gender gap that 20% of viewers are female and 80% is male, are male, and also the age of the people that are watching the, the, the webinars. So just to conclude, I'm going to point it out that the webinars are an incredible tool for communicating science and research. A webinar cycle has to have clear objective. This is key in order that if you want to start your own webinar cycle, we have been here getting experience from doing webinars since 2015, and many of the lessons and regarding to the know-how, uh, we were we learned much before the COVID-19 pandemics, and they are very useful to keep communicating. So if you got curious, 
you, uh, you can contact us and also I'm going to be happy to answer all your questions here in the workshop sustainable. Thank you very much.